The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost VPN. Welcome to The Red Couch, a show about internet freedom and security. Up today, how Google Ads can save teenagers' education. But first, how an app on one of these little babies holds the key to masculine desire. Men, want to know what she's thinking? You don't need intuition. You don't need a friend to tell you. You don't even need to listen to her. All you need to do is hold up a phone to her face and the tech does the job for you. Picture this, finally, she agreed to come up for coffee. You look deep into her eyes and see, actually, you have no idea what you see, but your mobile app will figure it out for you. Brilliant scientists from Tel Aviv-based Beyond Verbal have discovered the key to successful dating, the Moody's app. They believe vocal intonations are the gateway to human emotions, and their magic robots can discover what people are feeling by how they are speaking. What a nice place, and whoa, this red couch is so cozy, and man, is that a real Picasso? You could ignore her chatter, and the phone tells you when to bring out the chocolates. These are my favorites. And when to spark up the R. Kelly. How did you know I love R. Kelly? And when to put your arm around her. <laughs> Steve Jobs may be dead now, but even he is in on the act. And when I saw the rubber band inertial scrolling and a few of the other things, I thought, my God, we can build a phone out of this. And I put the tablet project on the shelf because the phone was more important. The app can detect 400 different variations of moods. This is like Counselor Troy from Star Trek, reimagined as machine-readable instructions. Give me an example of what you mean. But this raises some issues. Can an app really understand a psyche? Will businesses inform their customers that they're mining their emotions? What will they do with this data? And what implications does this have for your privacy? Steady on their app. We're just fooling around. The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost VPN, a virtual private network that allows you to surf the web securely and gives you anonymity online. Microsoft's bitchy ads against Google are working, according to AdAge, and making users switch to Bing. Let's examine these hidden persuaders. Hey Maddie, how's school today? Yeah, you learn anything cool? Well, I learn how to get a free credit report, how to refinance my home mortgage, and how to get a deal on vitamin supplements. What are you studying? History of Mesopotamia. Ads. I'm guessing your school doesn't have Bing for schools. It's the first ever ad-free search for the classroom. No, we're using Google. You should ask your school to sign up for Bing. Just what I need. More Mesopotamia, fewer ads. Don't get scroogled. Early enrollment for Bing for schools is open now. Wait a second, Microsoft. I don't understand this commercial. More Mesopotamia? Fewer ads? Something's wrong here. She's 14 years old. She can sort out her personal finances, knows how to remortgage a house, and look after her personal health. All thanks to Google Ads. And why would anyone want to know about Mesopotamia? <laughs> like it ever existed. To ensure that teenagers today have the necessary skills to lead financially and physically successful lives, I believe the American public education system should be run by Google Ads. And Bing, with your communist notions of free schooling, go teach kids in North Korea.